If you score a knockdown, go to the neutral corner. Do not come out till I signal. Avoid the use of your head as a weapon. Despite contrary beliefs, sleeps 10 hours a day. The only day he missed in nine weeks of training was last time. Word has it, Vaughn Bean's own sparring partners were having their way with him this can feel. Brian Gary, veteran from Tampa, with his first heavyweight title fight. Uh, as he says, he's a thinking fighter now. There's a nice combination. Open, open the evening like that. Oftentimes, Holyfield loves the wake up call. They thrive oh, after getting hit. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Field. And then he means in that, in that exchange, in, he, he means when there's a natural big trouble in Bobby. He's well, then he doesn't have to worry about the out because he'll be on the wrong end of it. Yep. Not on the back. He should have the joint. He will be on his back. Give it up, you oh, Give it up. up. I took under and over with the lead right hand. Oh, Bean oh, covers up pretty oh, well, oh, but oh, he cannot oh, be effective oh, going oh, backwards oh, and holding oh, his lead through. It was an attempt like that. No overhand oh, right, but it's not oh, powerful. It's not straight. It's not solid. Holy oh, God. Well, slow Bean down because he's so Stumbles into the come up and take a shot. Beautiful stunt left. And that works for some people, but it's not going to work here tonight. Bean again trying to work on the inside, but Holyfield withstands that one. No combination with the body by Holyfield. But he has to take the stunt shot. Bean futilely comes back. Well, I don't know if you can hear our drivers and the boy. Dave Stumpin' like a man did that. And now Holyfield Bean at least, bad. Bean at least took a shot himself. A little man by Bean. Nice hit there. As he's beginning to take real punishment from, on, oh, watch the body shots coming in here. As soon as he finishes on top, Holyfield goes right down to the body. He was very ineffective in the first round. Throws a nice level here. Gets Evander's attention. I think Evander misjudged that shot. Hit him clean in the like nose forehead area. It was a decent left hook, and he followed up with four or five shots. Something Bean has been with that right hand. The crowd beginning to chant Holyfield. There's a sneaky right up attempt by Bean. That goes. Here from the corners, Butch Lewis is giving a whole lot of advice. Look at this. Combination by Vaughn Bean. Back comes Holyfield with the body. It's going to be very frustrating. It's going to cause mistakes. See, and inside, Bean's hands are up, and he's kind of quick and jumps in. Here's a grazing right hand from the three, and of course to the advantage of Holyfield with a vicious straight left to the face. A combination of the head by Holyfield. See, it's not one shot at a time, it's three, it's four. There are the ropes. Evander cleans up on him. There's no way to escape with his back to the ropes. Like that. That, so I'm drawing some more down here. Five, six, and seven. So once again, Vaughn Bean stopped those up. No matter what happens from this point on. Connected to the face of Holyfield. Right on the face. Bean, that could really get him in trouble. But he continues to fire away, but Holyfield comes back. Holyfield's punches are harder. Holyfield's like taking a break. Left up a cut by Bean that, that sent Holyfield back a little bit. And Boxmore using the jab, smacking left hand there by Vaughn Bean that got through. This is Bean's best round. On Vaughn Bean's left, if it is, at the throne, if he drops the guard. Bean is landing with that overhand right to the head of Holyfield. And Holyfield is missing in return. Nice uppercut and overhand by Vaughn Bean. And the question has to be raised at this point. Could this be the night Holyfield turns into an old fighter? He certainly did look old in his life. He is doing the fighting. And Holyfield is just covering up and letting him do it. I mean, you just gave him two rounds like a bit. I don't understand. First four rounds, he came out very focused, very purposeful, very accurate. From the third man of the ring, Brian Gary. Uh, he is no, not. Hey, no, no, Holyfield no, no, no. is abandoned when he did the first four rounds. He's hoping to land that one killer shot. Don't hold him, Evander. Well, don't hold his head down. It's mandatory is in his quest to unify the championship. Don't get you know, right now, on a day like this, looking like this. That stung Evander Holyfield here late in round seven. Holyfield trying to come back, but Bean trying to hold on and he's being pretty good there. And Bean is holding on as best he can. He's just, okay, he's just diving in there, Bean. Now. Oh, no, 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 I don't know what it was. There was a piece of the camera. Three, 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 three. I'm inside. I saw that Bean had a close 
the gap, which is doing. Evander's letting him. He had a fight effectively on the inside. Evander's an active fighter, but not here. First four rounds. First four rounds. Well, in case you're counting, this is Evander Holyfield, 665th round of professional boxing. We wonder if it's one of Evander's. He's bending and he's just driving with his legs. And Evander's letting him. He's using all of those 231 clubs. Rocked him a little bit with an uppercut. And uh, Bean took time out. He's Bean fighting very smart. He got hurt. He just took time out, and now he's back again. Yeah, that's working for Evander. Holyfield beginning to score with more regularity now. He's down to Bean. But in the last minute, Evander worked more than Bean, except for the last few seconds. Oh, this is short right hook by Evander Holyfield on the counter. Hold on. Look at this. He just keeps pumping. He just keeps. Well, he gave him a comeback. Holyfield good fighting for two rounds. He got him break. Vaughn Bean's getting tired to watch his right hand as he brings it over. Oh, a dirty tactic by Holyfield. That's desperation. Now, Holyfield must be feeling oh, desperate. He's in a corner, he looks like he's breathing very heavily. He, he looks Vaughn Bean, and from this angle, it sure looked like Holyfield took him bodily and pulled him to his head. Holyfield, Ty, that was an off balance. Yeah, that's more of a form. Bean with just a little tiny pit pass. At least the game is taking something up on the inside. There's a heavy right hook. To the face by Evander Holyfield, countering. Yeah, those are two great punches by Holyfield. Great punches. And again, a late. Flip. This boy hates it, here. man. If you want it, you got to cut, cut it loose. Cut it loose, me, Doug. Take a look at that incident where he seems to push him off and then butts him. See there? No, you know what? That was not. That really not. You look at that again. He was just trying to get him off and move his head to the side. Just get him off. Well, I beg to differ. But now he's showing. Evander Holyfield. I believe in Evander Holyfield. And all the distractions during the week. Taking their toll. Bean's tying him up. They hurt Bean. He hurt Bean. And Bean goes down. The right Bean got finished him off. He goes down. He's writhing around in agony. He's on him. Yes. He makes it up at seven. Come to me. Come to me. But can he survive the final 30 seconds? He's not thinking. He's looking for the big right hand. There's the uppercut. But he's got the second one here in the final 10 seconds. The crowd going wild. Strictly adrenaline, Steve. He's going to make it to the bell. There's the bell. Better get close, son. Woo! Look at how he got him in trouble. I think he was going through the ropes when he got hit. Right, black right, right there. Now watch as he comes out, he gets an uppercut. That, that was like... Oh, he got awesome. stunned with the left hand, you'll see. Watch him get stunned with that little right uppercut there. He got stunned a little bit. He started to lean in, another uppercut. Stunned him a little bit, that hook. Staying on top of it. But that last right uppercut is clearly the one who did it. But he was all tied up in the ropes down there, Bobby. I mean, he wasn't standing. Give him credit. I was laughing at him while I ain't laughing now. Watch the hand, man! Me too. Watch your hand, man. That stock would still go up 10 to 4. No question about it. We start, I started saying that in the fifth round. The very tiny condition and attrition big factors. And a right cross there by Vaughn Bean that lands. And a hard one. That was a Against the heavyweight champion of the world in the champion's neighborhood. Whoever thought Holyfield versus Bean would be competitive. There's a right hook by Bean on the top of Holyfield's head. He is just unleashing. He's looking for him. He wants to end it. And that's what he needs to do to win this fight. Well, he's going to be impressed because he lasted and it's a decision. That's it. Holyfield wants a lot against it. I'm glad I didn't bet. And uh, for the most part. I'm, I'm got the uh, Holyfield coming at it twice. Now, uh, there's some. Now watch what happens when he gets in the ropes. He got he got in trouble with that right hand. That was the first thing. There, there's an uppercut which didn't do him any good. Now watch another too. hook. Now watch as he goes. We'll see this in the second. Uh, Vaughn's just kind of diving into him. Holyfield steps now, out see, of the way. See now watch. He's tied up and gets hit. See that? And you, but you know, here's the thing. 
He was not draped over the ropes. He didn't hit him from behind. Again, Evandro, work him up. There's a hook, and there's another uppercut that's coming up in here soon. There's another hook, and another uppercut somewhere. Okay, this is the uppercut that winds up doing it. Referee wasn't there in time. He wasn't draped through the ropes. And still, heavyweight champion of the world, the pride of Atlanta, Evander.